Welcome to another video of XB. To jump right into it, two years ago I bought a one cup coffee chair for just about 6 euro and 21 cents including shipping costs. Because I'm a coffee lover, morning, midday, afternoon, just name the moment of the day and I'm in for a cup of coffee. And I drink them all, from self grinded coffee to Nespresso cups and to even Starbucks, once in a while. I remember ordering this coffee chair around the 15th of December in 2020 and arriving a few days after New Year, so about a little month of shipping time. I know it's a late review, but after two years of use, I know this coffee chair inside and out. For the packaging, the coffee chair came neatly wrapped in a plastic bubble bag and the box was nicely delivered without creases or indentations. This one cup coffee cherry is made of aluminum and therefore doesn't work on an induction plate. So you either have to buy an induction adapter or you can use it on a gas fire. For comparison I have placed my other coffee chair of Belletti where you can get 3 to 4 cups out of it. I purchased this one cup coffee chair especially for myself with the reason that I only drink one cup of coffee in the morning. And in my opinion it was a waste of the amount of grounded coffee that you lose when using the Balati for 2 to 4 cups. Attention, Balati also has such a cafetiere for 1 cup, but for 6 euro and 21 cents, you can always take a chance on this AliExpress cafetiere, right? For the 1 cup cafetiere, I use about 3 dessert spoons of grinded coffee, compared to the 4 cup cafetiere, where I put about 8 dessert spoons in it. And usually I tempt the coffee well to get a good strong taste, but it is of course best for you to determine how much you put in to determine the strength of your coffee. Little side note, do not tempt too much and too hard as the water must also be able to run through the grounded coffee easily. The biggest difference between the 1 cup and the 4 cup cafetiere is that the Belletti 4 cup cafetiere is made of steel and therefore can be used on an induction plate and also on a gas fire. Now that the coffee chair is totally set up, we only have to fill the coffee chair with water and with grounded coffee, after which it is time to place it on the fire. Depending on how hard you turn the heat of the gas fire, the faster the coffee starts to flow. In this case, I turned the flame of the gas fire a bit higher so that the coffee started to run after about 35 seconds. But, to be honest, I prefer the coffee when it is prepared on a light flame of fire, so the water can slowly run through the grounded coffee and the water absorbs as much flavor as possible. This also slightly determines the strength of your coffee. But, the difference is going to be more noticeable for a die-hard coffee drinker, rather than for a casual coffee drinker. The 4 cup coffee theory took about 30 seconds on the same strength of fire. The taste of both cafeterias, nah, they are actually almost identical. And still very good. When I drink a coffee, and even more so with an espresso, I like it when a glass of water is served with it. Some Italians claim that one should drink the water before the coffee in order to be able to taste the coffee optimally. I prefer the water after. So I don't walk around with that coffee taste and coffee smell from my mouth. But hey, of course everyone is free in this choice. As mentioned before, I waited two years to post a review about this one cup coffee chair from Aliexpress. So I did really experience the pros and the cons. The structure of the coffee chairs differs a bit from each other. Both are made up of four items. Container for water, container for coffee, filter and a rubber seal. Where the one cup differs is that you have an extra filter in the container for coffee. My biggest and only concern with the one cup coffee theory is that I had to make sure that the inside of the water container had to be always dry. If you quickly rinse it off and put it away upside down, there is a chance that mold will form, which you can of course remove with a hard iron sponge, 
But how come mold can form, you may ask? The inside of the one cup aluminum container for water has a rough surface to the outside which has a nice polished surface. This means that water can easily get stuck on this rough surface. Little side note, this is about a very small amount of water that lingers. Unless, of course, you wipe it well with a kitchen towel. With the 4 cup coffee chair from Balletti, the inside has also a polished surface so that if placed upside down to dry, the water simply drips off and drying is not per se necessary. It may be a minor detail, but I will give it to you because this happened to me once when I was in a wash. And as you know, a donkey doesn't hit the same stone twice, I guess. With the 1 cup coffee cherry, you can also wipe the filters with an iron sponge. The inside for the container for coffee is shaped with corners, where the coffee residues can possibly linger and you also need to wipe these corners extra. The 4 cup coffee chair, its inside is round and it is much less affected by this residue. As mentioned before, you can use this aluminum 1 cup coffee chair on an induction plate as long as you use an induction adapter. This may take a bit longer because the induction adapter has to heat up first before the water can boil. Heating of the induction adapter can, as shown, take a few minutes, even when put on a stronger fire. In total, it can take up to 5 minutes before you can drink your coffee. In the meantime, I did a few tasks which I had to do and when the coffee is ready, you will hear sometimes, if you wait long enough, a whistling sound. That's how we know the coffee is fully ready. For quite a long time, I've always cleaned my coffee tray manually, but I've also done it in dishwasher in recent months. Just out of convenience and this worked just as well. Please note, I only tested the coffee tray in the washing machine with the aluminum version. Occasionally, and I mean once a month, you can have the used grounded coffee washed away with water in the sink, since the grounded coffee is a bit harder and so that residual waste in the drain pipes could be taken along in one way. Anyway, that's what my plumber had given me as a tip. In summary, I'm actually really really satisfied with my purchase since the taste remains just as good. The washing time is almost the same as a 4 cup coffee chair and it is perfectly sized and priced for a 1 cup coffee chair. Only thing is you have to dry it very well, but in general I can really definitely and honestly recommend this product.